tonight on Chronicle, from the jitters at Athletes Village through the cheering crowd and past the iconic finish line. Hundreds of Granite Staters come to fulfill a 26.2 mile dream. Now it's time to celebrate. Live from the Tuscan Kitchen in the Boston Seaport, this is New Hampshire Chronicle at the Boston Marathon. Hello from Boston. We're glad to be with you, New Hampshire. Tonight we are celebrating from the Tuscan Kitchen here in Boston Seaport, and we want to congratulate all the 350 plus New Hampshire runners who tackled the Boston Marathon today. We began our day in Hoppington at the start. I drove to Boston. This guy over here <laughs> got here the hard oh, way. Yeah. So let's hear it for Sean McDonald. Oh, yeah. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> he started his day doing Daybreak. He ran the Boston Marathon, and now you're here doing Chronicle. You know what, though? That's the sound I heard all day long for 26.2 miles. Uh, the legendary crowds along the Boston Marathon course lived up to the hype. Mm -hmm. They were loud, they were supportive, and they kept you going. Even though it was a little warm out there, I got a little tired at times, they pushed you right along. Yeah, well, we are so excited to have you with us, and we are so <laughs> glad that you had such a great race. I'm excited to be sitting down for a little while. Here. We got to rest those legs. You know, 50 million was raised for charity and Sean's run raised tens of thousands of dollars for a New Hampshire organization and here's a look at what was motivating him every step of the way. If you're a regular viewer of New Hampshire Chronicle, you might think that Sean McDonald has done it all. But one thing that is still on his bucket list is to cross this finish line and be able to say that he's conquered the Boston Marathon. So first and foremost, I grew up outside of Boston, so it was a day off from school. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I remember it. But of course, the Boston Marathon, I grew up watching the Boston Marathon. I knew it when I would go into the city and so forth. Uh, I never thought one day that maybe I would run it. When you mentioned 26 miles, 26.2 miles to me as a kid, I'd be like, people run that far? But a great cause came calling. And as we know, Sean is always up for the challenge. <laughs> Put that thing on sport mode. Work said, hey, would you be interested in maybe doing the Boston Marathon and running, raising money for charity? And I thought to myself, well, maybe this is my opportunity. Maybe I should do a marathon. And quite frankly, the Boston Marathon, you don't say no to that, right? Sean will be out there Monday morning running to support an organization that is working to address the root causes of homelessness in New Hampshire. So Families in Transition works with thousands of people each year uh, and their whole thing is to break that cycle of homelessness, to try to get people off the streets, to try to get them into therapy uh, for mental health issues, for uh, drug issues, you name it. They try to get people uh, into these services and then hopefully find them temporary housing and then eventually uh, housing up permanent housing if they can. So it's an important issue. I'm glad that we're tackling it. I'm glad we're raising money for it. And Sean finished in five hours and one minute. There's the medal. Uh, and you and Team WMUR raised an astounding $75,000 for families in transition. And maybe you don't remember, it's probably all a blur to you right now, but here's how you felt right after you crossed the finish line. It's all done, 26.2 miles. I gotta tell you, I doubted myself for a little bit on this race. Might have been a little bit of walking in there, but the crowds kind of let me emotionally surf my way into the finish line. It was exhilarating and exhausting all at the same time. Is it everything you thought it was gonna be? It really was. So the crowds were amazing out there. Even when you think you're tired, when you're mentally down a little bit, they can carry you through this thing. Are you regretting doing daybreak this morning? <laughs> uh, I am exhausted right now. I'm glad to be done. Are you, we're going to Tuscan though still, right? Yeah, let's have a party tonight. <laughs> 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 you were exhausted. 
tested then. How do you feel now? I seem pretty happy. Actually, I feel much <laughs> better now. I was quite drained at the moment, but I will say that coming around the corner on Boyle Street, as they say, that's the big emotional moment. Uh. I got a little teary-eyed coming because you look down and there's so many people. This is the iconic shot, and now you were the center stage for that. It was incredible. And you're like the finish line. That too. <laughs> <laughs> but what was your favorite moment along the route? So I, I have always wanted to see the Scream Tunnel. I've yeah. never done that before. You can hear this from like two miles away. It's incredible. So you run through all of these college girls just screaming like crazy, <laughs> holding up some rather unique signs. We'll leave it at that. Okay. And, <laughs> We're going to have to hear about that later. <laughs> and it was really, it lived up to the hype, no doubt about That's it. That's great. That's yeah. great. And did you see a lot of Granite Steeders on the route as well? That was one of the best parts. So I try to keep my eye out to see folks from New Hampshire along the route. And I had a lot of people that kind of waved, to, hey, come on over. And I did high fives. They kept me going. We did lots of pictures. I actually like stopping for pictures because I like stopping, just in general. But yeah, a lot of support out there from New Hampshire. And uh, so you're going to do it again next year, right? Oh, uh, well, I think we got to go to break, don't we? Is it what? <laughs> Maybe. I know you're looking it to pass fun. the baton to someone else here at the station. I don't know. I think if I were to do it, it would be a walkathon. But I'm not sure if anyone could stick around for that. I probably I wouldn't be finished yet. I did plenty of walking out there. <laughs> you did? Just letting you know. How was Heartbreak Hill? I did plenty of walking out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay right there. We're going to be back with more from the Tuscan Kitchen and uh, here in the Seaport. Coming up next, a well-known face laces them up to say thank you to the Jocelyn Diabetes Center. Portsmouth's Stephanie Shaheen hits the ground running for her daughter, Ellie.